this is Miss Chloe. She is a standard poodle, and today we're going to be doing a complete shave down just because here where we live it's getting very hot and it's also easier to maintain the coat. Hey, hi. <laughs> Since they're getting a full shave down before the bath, it's going to be just like trying to get the most amount of hair off their body. So when we get to the bath, we can actually clean her good. Okay. So it's not going to be anything fancy and just nice and clean. It's going very, very short. The thing that makes it okay is that she has such thick coat so that her skin won't show and won't get sunburned at all. So today she's getting her shave with a number seven blade, which is 3.2 millimeters of hair on her body. It's not knotted, it's just a lot of hair, so mm -hmm. they have still been taking very good care of her, mm -hmm. not letting her get knotted or matted. And then we have to keep checking the blade to make sure that it's not hot, like if you touch it, it's starting to get warm. Uh -huh. And like this is like the place where oh, really? we check. So then we have, we can either change blades or we have like cool care that makes it cool. <laughs> oh. Not hot anymore. Just to not so it doesn't burn, burn her. Skin. Pulling her skin just to make it tighter. Make sure she doesn't get nicked. Yes. This part came off a little bit more in one piece. Wow. She had some knots. <laughs> but it's not severe knotting. So basically I start taking the hair off since it's a whole shave. So I would start shaving down her back, starting at the back of her head. And then I work my way down the legs, the feet, and then I will go to the face. The weather here, it's a lot of maintenance. A lot of pet parents get certain breeds of dogs because they're like, oh, they're so cute. Mm -hmm. But not everybody looks into the maintenance that they require, like brushing wise. So to keep a dog like this, you'd have to like brush it every day, fresh and comb, just to make sure that matting doesn't happen, to keep them and their coat very well maintained. Does shaving them actually make them cooler here in the summer? Definitely. It's okay. different than with double-coated dogs because double-coated dogs, they do better having a geisha than a shave because that helps them regulate their body temperature. Whereas with a shave, then you kind of take off that protection that they already have like built into them. So the last time she was here was four months ago, so all this hair is four months worth of hair. If it was any longer, it could definitely be super matted or more like dreadlocks. It's not good for them because it pulls on their skin and can even cause bruising. For the inside of her ear, I'm using a 40, which is much shorter. What's that for? To kill fleas. Just so that they don't get past this oh, area okay. right now. Oh, she's gonna get a bath now, huh? Yes. Oh! So with washing the hair with the water, I always put the ear downward. It doesn't mean that I don't clean it on the inside because I still do, but I'm closing the ear canal so that it doesn't get water inside the ear. It's a blueberry facial. Most dogs enjoy it because they just get kind of like a massage. Making sure to get the eye boogers off. You can see how she just like stretches. I like to get the ears very, very clean. And I'm still doing it from the back, but when I rub, I rub all of the ear. What are you doing? Her anal glands. Oh, expressing them? Yes. Something very gross. They were very cool. A lot of them can express the anal glands on their own, 
a lot of it depends on their diet. They have plenty of fiber in their diet, so they should be able to express it on their own when they go to the bathroom. But a lot of pets, you know, they just don't have enough fiber in their diet, and that's why they require for the veterinarian. Because groomers do it externally. Veterinarians express the anal glands internally. Oh, do they? Yes. So it's always good to still take them to the veterinarian. But they need to be expressed. They do need to yeah. be expressed because they can become impacted and, and either get infected or burst and then you'll definitely need to go to the bed if they burst first because they'll have like a little hole on the side of their butt where it like pops. So we do two shampoos. That one was just like basic to just get the dirt off. We want them to smell good. And I mean, Here. when their parents pick them up, one of the first things that they do is like hug them and they see the dog smells good. It's not all just cologne and perfume. Yeah, okay. The, it's really clean. Yeah, we want them to be very clean. She has fleas and he probably has fleas, so I should probably get on that right away. She's not a dog that is at risk of any breathing problems or anything like that, so she can drive for a little bit. more than just shaving them, isn't it? Oh so yeah. A lot more. This is very detailed work. Definitely. You have to be paying very close attention to where the scissors are going. So there's a big controversy with plucking ears because just like how when you tease your eyebrows, it feels a little bit sore, like it leaves the, the little hole. It's kind of the same thing, so if you pluck all that out, it's going to leave the hair irritated. But also, some dogs need it to come out, at least some of it, because it can cause ear infections oh. with the moisture. Okay. So that's why it is a major controversy. Oh, okay. back at her tail. Yeah. <laughs> she knows she's done. So pretty. Take it off. 